I still don't know how I feel about Lilo and Stitch. I watched this film in the cinema when it was released back in 2002, if you can believe it was that long ago, and I don't remember not liking it. But over the years, I've kind of just not cared for it, and then upon reflection, didn't really like it that much. But I acknowledge that I hadn't seen it in quite a long time, so I thought I'd give it another watch and give it another chance. And my opinion has certainly changed, but would I say I like it? I'm not sure. There are things about it that I thought were fantastic, but there's a part of the narrative that just doesn't appeal to me personally. It's not necessarily bad, but it doesn't speak to me. And I'll talk a little bit about that without giving any spoilers. But the first thing I want to say about this film is that it's got one of the most important messages in any Disney film. But several really lovely important messages in this. The, prim- the primary one, I guess, being Ohana. The importance of family is nobody gets left behind. And obviously because Lilo is an orphan, she's being raised by her older sister. Her family unit has significantly shrunk. And it's really nice to see that this is representing an atypical family. There will unfortunately be children watching this who are in very similar situations. And it's good to see that they're being shown a family unit that's not just mother, father, 2.5 children. It's very refreshing to see this slightly different dynamic, even though, of course, it's heartbreaking for Lilo and at times difficult to watch. It's also nice to have something else, not just princesses and looking for a happy ending. They're just trying to have a happy current. They're trying to get through life because it's very difficult and it's a lot more realistic in in that respect. I also love the fact that Lilo's character is very well rounded and very well developed. Now, I actually don't like Lilo, but it's not her fault and it's kind of the point. Lilo acts out a lot, she's very naughty, she misbehaves, she doesn't listen to her sister, she completely overreacts. But there's one line in this that sums everything up that you need to know about this film, and it's not a spoiler, um, but this is a very heartfelt moment that she has with Stitch. And she says to Stitch, I'm paraphrasing, but she says along the lines of, I hear you crying at night, I know you miss your family, um... And I know that's why you act out and push me. And Lilo, a child, is acknowledging that she knows that Stitch is misbehaving because he's hurting. And I think that is so important. This is, for me, the best message in this film. There will be parents watching this whose children are acting out and misbehaving and they don't realise that they're being naughty, if you like, because they are hurting. Whether that's because of something at home that's hurting and they're being bullied at school, they have childhood depression... It could make some parents think, maybe my child is acting out because they are hurting and suffering because of something. Because not everybody's aware of that kind of relationship between pain and aggression or lashing out. And to me, that, that, that's not something I remembered from when I watched this when I was 10. And I was genuinely really impressed. That aspect of it I thought was fantastic. Even though I didn't like Lilo as a character... I love what she represented because I thought it's a really important message. The Stitch side of it, I don't like. I don't find Stitch that cute. I know a lot of people will hate me for that. If you think Stitch is cute, that's perfectly fine. I can kind of see the appeal. But for me, he's not cute and cuddly. Um, And how, how he was created, if you don't know the backstory at the very beginning of the film... He is a failed experiment who is um, sent away. He actually takes refuge on Earth, ends up in a dog pound and becomes Lilo's pet. And he's not as destructive as he is made out to seem at the beginning of the film. But the aliens who um, are trying to capture him are now on Earth trying to, you know, capture him while he's going out and about with Lilo. And I didn't really care for those scenes. I didn't like the alien characters. Um... There was one. There was one um, character I liked whose name I I can't remember, but it's the one-eyed, kind of beigey, green-coloured one. You'll know who I mean. I kind of liked him. I thought he was cute. But the actual like scientific sci-fi aspect of it, I just didn't like. Thankfully, it didn't detract from the bits that I did. But for the most part, that didn't appeal to me. Now, that's kind of the main point of the film. So... 
it's not like I can say, well, they could have just left that out and it would have been great still because it wouldn't be the same film. And they haven't badly done that. I think if you like that kind of thing from a Disney film, with the aliens and, you know, the weird scientific experiments gone wrong and imposing on Earth, you might actually enjoy it. But I was more interested when the social worker was there, although Cobra Bubbles is one of the most bizarre characters ever. But I did enjoy it a lot more than I thought. For the first time ever, I am inclined to watch Lilo and Stitch 2, which I will do. Also, I have to say, Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride, I love. I've loved that song forever. So even though the film hasn't always appealed to me, that song definitely did. Um, a really good film in parts. I can see why it's so popular. For me, it's never going to be my favourite, but I'm glad I gave it another chance because I certainly like it a lot more now than I did previously.